This is Next Weather. That was a hero right there. Yeah, incredible sure. that a gust of wind yes. did all that. Wow. wow. All right, let's talk about our weather here. And Ivan, did I hear you right? Did you say it actually is feeling cooler than it is? Right. <laughs> well, well yeah, it's, uh, technically it is. You walk outside, the sun hits you. Probably uh, not, especially if you've been working uh, particularly outside all day. But it is uh, a different day today. We have uh, humidity values that, that we typically don't see you know, this late into uh, the spring here. 32% earlier we were in the 20s here. That is... Uh, you know, out west kind of weather, arid, dry stuff with uh, temperatures at that point that do feel cooler, particularly if you're sweating, that evaporates. That's a cooling process. Like you walk out of the shower until you're always cold no matter the season as the uh, water evaporates from you. It makes you uh, certainly cooler, and that is very helpful. Now, if it was 88 with relative humidity up to 60, we'd be, you know, talking about upper 90s as far as the feels like. Oh, and by the way, that's coming uh, for the weekend, so get ready. This is probably one of the last uh, few fronts that we get here with this kind of remarkable drop in humidity. It hasn't done much for the temperature, but at night, because it's so dry, temperatures cool off a little bit more so than they would. And right now, of course, we have nothing here across a radar network across South Florida and across the southeast. It's just dry air. I mean, look at these numbers here. Mid 20s uh, from Orlando. We were at 25 earlier in Miami and of course that's been making it feel comfortable to, to be outside particularly in the early morning midday before you know it starts ramping up in the upper 80s but there is the ramp up to humid by Sunday and that's not just the humidity coming back that's moisture as well so we're going to get back into daily rounds of showers and thunderstorms as we begin to pull in more moisture off the Atlantic and so that by, I think by the weekend we are seeing afternoon showers and storms back into uh, the picture so let's time it out for you on rain tracker here and you're seeing tomorrow uh, through tonight certainly not much doing here and then heading into tomorrow afternoon just a few clouds I've taken out the rain chance even tomorrow it is just too dry for anything to develop in fact it's going to be hard to make clouds again tomorrow afternoon but that changes with that uh, wind flow you see that there the clouds coming at us on the south and east that is a more favorable setup to get moisture in to then the sea breezes uh, do their job and uh, get us into some showers and storms and there we are Saturday 3 p.m. mostly along uh, Okeechobee Chrome but as I put this in a motion notice they fan out a little bit to the south and east. This is a brand new update. This is a more aggressive model right now. I'm still uh, keeping rain chances at 30, but we may have to change that as new models come in. And certainly Sunday now looks to me uh, like a good bet for most of us seeing afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Keep that in mind. So the coverage will go to 40%. Sunday afternoon, and uh, we're going to get back into those daily storms. Not going to be widespread, uh, but uh, we'll get temperatures in the mid 80s. Just keep in mind, those 80s are with high, high humidity, so it'll start feeling very sticky outside with feels like numbers well into the 90s.